I'm sure you all remember last year uh, the amazing display of luminaries that circled the Sharon Green. Well, that is back this year, uh, courtesy of the Sharon Fire Department uh, Ambulance Squad. And with us this morning to talk about it is Patricia Chamberlain. Patricia, good morning. Good morning, Marshall, and thank you so much for having us on this morning. We really appreciate it. There's so much enthusiasm for this event, and it's an exciting one, and we want to promote it, and thank you so much for doing that. You know, it's just uh, to see it uh, live last year was amazing, but even now to take quick to take a look back and take a look at the at the photos of the green completely encircled with those luminaries it really is a special way to to celebrate the holiday season and people you love and people that you have loved and lost that's so true you know sharon is really such a very special place and the lights of love are an opportunity for us as a volunteer ambulance squad to honor people and respect those that we've lost but also to appreciate those in service and those um, that are still with us. So it's an opportunity to put a loved one's name on and, again, an opportunity to honor a loved one that we've lost. And it's a very wonderful community that supports that sort of event that's not only beneficial to the community but then most beneficial to our ambulance squad. Last year we were raising funds for a new ambulance, and this year we're raising funds for supplies. As you know, the costs have gone up dramatically on supplies, many of our supplies are triple in cost and often double in cost. So we are uh, raising money for that, a worthy cost, I think. You know, it's, 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 that's the whole thing that's interesting about this, besides uh, being beautiful and, 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 and remembering people. Uh, it raises funds for the, uh, for the ambulance squad. And not only do you, every once in a while, you have to buy a new ambulance, which, by the way, uh, is probably in excess of a quarter of a million dollars, um, but also the equipment that does change, and, the, and because you have to follow the same rules and regulations that that, that, that fire companies follow. That's correct, and uh, it, yes, it is, and it's important, I think, that we offer our community a quality service. It, it's not just a service, it's a high-quality service with, again, wonderful volunteers, and we couldn't do this project and we certainly couldn't provide the health care and transport we do to our citizens without um, this terrific squad of, of volunteers. And what I keep reminding people uh, with uh, these volunteer agencies we have around here, like the Sharon uh, Fire Department and the, and the Ambulance Squad, is that we have fully equipped ambulances, we have people, we have all the equipment, and if one day uh, there's no volunteers and you have to have a paid service come in, the cost to taxpayers is going to be immense, and you won't have the full service that you have right now uh, with the squad that we have. That's true. That's so true. I, I always uh, look back and see the picture of Jack Murtaugh. Most people don't realize the first ambulance service that was open in this area was right here in Sharon. That's right. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yes. And you know the history so well. Because you know, Salisbury didn't come along until 1971, and Sharon uh, really supplied an ambulance service well before that. So let's get to uh, the lights of love. Now, these luminaries will be uh, uh, at a cost of $10 donation each, right? Correct. And we put we will actually put the name on each luminara. This year we're using weatherproof bags. Last year we were not using uh, the plastic bags, but this year we are in hopes that they'll last. They'll be up for Saturday night, December 4th. And Sunday night, December 5th, we'll clean up Monday at noon. People will be able to actually come and pick up uh, anytime Monday morning their luminary and keep it. So if they like to keep it, they're certainly welcome to come and pick it up and hang on to it. It'll last uh, for months, I believe. Uh, the light may not last quite that long, but the rest of it will. And we're hoping that people will actually come and pick up their own. So. That's happening. We have extended the deadline because we've had such a tremendous response uh, to November 23rd. Forms are available on the Town of Sharon website under the news column. They're also going to be available Saturday tomorrow at the firehouse from 10 to 3. And if people want to bring their list of people, we'll just attach it to a form. and Or you can pick up a form and fill it out right there at the firehouse tomorrow. Um, so we're hoping that people will do that, this last-minute uh, opportunity, and we will 
look forward to seeing everyone walk around on the green. It's paired with the tree lighting, so we're hoping people will come to that event as well. And uh, by the way, if uh, you have more information that you want, Betsy Hall uh, is the contact person at 860-364-0663. You can also email uh, Sharon Ambulance. Uh, uh, at gmail.com. I think it's Sharon, yeah, Sharon Ambulance CT at gmail.com. And it really is, when you add up the tree lighting ceremony and the luminaries, it's an amazing sight on the green in Sharon. And what better way to honor somebody that you know, somebody that is working hard for the community and also help fund the Sharon Fire Department Ambulance Squad, which is just an integral part of what we found out what happened when you look across the, the, uh, the state line in, in Millerton, New York, a couple of weekends ago, how important our volunteer services are thank you so much marshall and it's been a pleasure and an honor to be part of this group so i I appreciate all the time you've given us okay and the extension once again people can uh, can still apply for these through what date uh november 23rd all right and for people that are listening when we put this up on our on-demand page we'll have all the links and information there where you can click you can download the pdf uh, or like we said, uh, coming up this Saturday, you can get uh, go right to the, to the fire department, right? That's correct. All right, Pat, thanks thanks for joining us this morning, and uh, have a happy Thanksgiving. And thank you so much. All right, take care. Mm, bye-bye. Uh, Patricia Chamberlain uh, and the Sharon uh, Ambulance Squad, once again, Lights of Love, the Luminaries, uh, $10 donation each. Uh, for more information, 860-364-0663. Uh, That's Betsy Hall's number.